Hey guys, welcome back to the tune up. John 1.14 simply says, the word became flesh. Keep reminding yourself, he is a person. He knows the difference between willing cooperation by a man of compliance and hesitant cooperation by a man of resistance. One is, is a want to connect and relate. The other is a have to comply. There's a huge difference. The voice of the Holy Spirit should be a, a welcomed, needed, and respected interruption for us no matter the situation, no matter the issue, or, or, no, or no matter the moment. Being disposed and, and ready to listen means increasing measures of life and peace for, for a godly man. Resenting, ignoring, or, or muting his voice results in chaos and destruction personally, spiritually, emotionally, and relationally. The enemy of God and man puts great energy into persuading you not to think of these terms. God's thinking on your relationship with the Holy Spirit is, is straightforward. In fact, in Galatians uh, 5.25 we see, since we live by the Spirit. A godly man cannot afford to play nickel poker, if you will, with the Holy Spirit. Especially when, when the stakes are, are life and death. That is why all of us must face the, the control issues in our lives honestly, squarely, and biblically. We simply must ask, who, who's in control? The answer is either A, the, the enemy of God, or B, the Holy Spirit. Maybe you can relate to this dynamic. When I, when I want what I want, I don't have to think. When, when my mind is made up, I have direction and, and a set of expectations. I, I don't want anything or anyone slowing down my, my process or hindering me from getting what I want. It, it, it's called having your mind made up come hell or high water. That is why we have to make a commitment to God's will in advance uh, for, for our day-to-day -day battles and in a, in a strong way, frequently and privately with Him. My, my impulse decisions are, are not the best. In fact, th they usually give me a, a hangover of conscience. So i got to ask, are you hungover this week? Something to think about. Till we meet again, may God bless.